Stewart with time. Let's it go. He's got three people down there. The ball's up in the air. Caught. Touchdown. Caught by Westbrook for a touchdown. Incredible. Colorado's glorious miracle at Michigan Stadium. That was Michigan. This is Texas. ABC Sports and the College Football Association present the Colorado Buffaloes and the Texas Longhorns. Both teams undefeated 3-0, and the matchup has attracted the first non-conference sellout at Memorial Stadium in Austin since the Auburn game of 1984. The strength of this Texas defense is the DB. It's second down and five. This is Salam. He burst it over the right side, and now Colorado shows you a little bit of their heels. Well, the right side, Nioli, the right guard, is 65. Look at the block he makes right there on the linebacker. A huge hole. West 72 is also on that side. 6'1", 308-pound freshman from Paris, Texas, stepping in. That's up in Red River Valley country. Here's the option going to Salam again. And he tiptoes down the sideline. Texas leads three to nothing. On a 45-yard field goal, this is Salam turning up field, picks up the first down, finally dragged down. If I was him, I wouldn't be uh, talking trash to Michael. I'd let him alone if I'd make him mad. That's across the 35 and down to the 33-yard line. Ball is on the Texas 15. Salam shakes one behind the line of scrimmage, so their troubles continue among the linebacking core. This is Salam. Touchdown, Colorado. Watch Fourier, 86. We showed you him a little earlier when he was holding. This time he takes on Reed, the outside linebacker. See his feet? See how he worked his feet around? He kept uh, uh, contact. Second down and one. Dumps it off to Salam. Salam will have the first down and then some for the first three games. Option here goes to Salam. I stepping into the open. It's a foot race. Big guy can haul it. Out of bounds at the six yard line. Tajay Allen finally ran him down. 59 yards. 88 is uh, Lepsis, the tight end. That's birdie number 50. Brackens is going to get the tripped up, and there's a gap right there, and that's all he needs. 59 yards later, he's going to be knocked down out of bounds, but uh, this is going to be a track meet. Ball is on the Colorado 40, first, I mean the Texas 40, first down for Colorado, and this is Salon popping through the big hole on the left side. And out of bounds, down at the 21-yard line. Second down, three. From the Longhorn 14, Salam again. There's the first down. First down from, call it the 17-yard line. For Colorado, as Cordell Stewart runs an option, delivers it to Salam. Old Breton Butterfly, and Salam bounces off a Texan. Keeps on traveling. Up to the 35 and out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Now, if it was a dead ball foul, why wouldn't it be first and 20? Here comes Cordell Stewart coming around. Gives the ball to Salam, and he's across the 20 and has the first down. First down, ball is up on the 21. Rashawn Salam, top running back, picks up another first down. The football rest at the 46-yard line, where it is second down and six. In the possession of Colorado, ball given to Rashawn Salam, who has had a career-best rushing day. Third and six. There goes Salam, first down and more for the corner. No, not quite. The blocking on the right side, it's going to be West 72. Nioli 65 has his man out of there. The wide receivers are blocking, poor tackling by Texas. I think that was Allen. And makes the effort to get in and comes down on his rear end. That officially is his first catch. The other one was nullified by a penalty. And Salam comes up the middle. 
Option. Salam. Well, it's always been a truth. The longer the day, the tougher the hill, the better the great ones play late in the game, and that's exactly what he's doing. That's 301 yards. 301 yards for Rashan Salam. Third and nine. Right here. Cordell Stewart, screen dumps it. Screen for Salam. First down for the Buffaloes. Out of bounds to save the clock. I mean, a back screen. Everybody releases. They dump it to him very quickly. The other option was to throw it to the wide receiver down here. But he likes his chances with Salam. A big first down. 37 seconds remaining. They run it in the middle with Salam. And he runs it all the way to the 10-yard line for a first down. The clock stops at 30 seconds. Here we go. People involved here, a lot of things have to work. It's good. And Colorado takes a 34-31 lead with one tick remaining on the clock. I'll tell you one thing, I know some wives that are gonna make them hang them in a garage, though. <laughs> They tried the offside. Here comes the old Texas lateral play. And nothing's going to happen with this. The game is over. Time is run out. And the Colorado Buffaloes will put another one in their pocket and take it home by a score of 34-31 over the plucky Texas Longhorns. The Shenjuan Chevrolet most valuable players of the game are Rashan Salam from Colorado, Shea Morenz from Texas. Chevrolet donating $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding athletes for academic achievements and give them some financial help. Well, it was another good one. We hope you enjoyed it. Colorado continues undefeated, beating Texas 34-31.